Hey, I, I'm Adam, I'm from Dublin, I'm here with uh, my daughter Elila, she's Fox P1, she's three and a half years old. Okay. Hi, I'm Brandy Underwood, I'm the Executive Director here at the International Fox P1 Foundation. Really exciting to be here, interesting to meet other kids with Fox P1s. My name is Gudrun Lampert, I'm a Professor of Human Genetics working at the University of Heidelberg. Professor. I can see that a lot of them are also like touchy feely huggy like Ellie which is interesting to notice. Hi, Hi my name is Leah and it's great to meet um, children my age that have siblings that have one. My message to parents would be there is always hope and research is progressing, so there is always new data available and this may be helpful in the future. So my name is Anouk, uh, I'm a mom of uh, Pippa, who is a fox uh, girl, seven years old almost. My name is Mike, I have a daughter Sadie, age seven, with Fox B1 syndrome. This conference has been great, three main things. It's been interesting to hear about the research that's potentially that's being done now for future treatments, uh, the ability to connect with other parents and share first-hand experiences, and also to hear uh, in the research groups, study groups, the best way to parent children with Fox B1 syndrome. So if Fox P1 is a superhero, the function would be protector. Um, I helped organizing the conference and it was truly an honor to organize it and to see how many parents are yeah, experiencing the same uh, problems but also the same joys uh, with their children. And it's been such a wonderful experience to meet all the families here at the conference this year and I'm looking forward to the many months and years ahead in continuing to grow and expand the foundation to support the families through advancing research and providing support. Yeah, my name is André de Koning. Um, I'm together with Esther, the founder of the Dutch Fox B1 Foundation, Kind Beta, which you can translate as finding a cure for a child. Okay, hey John, are you excited to be in Europe? Are you excited to be at the Fox P1 meeting? My name is Andreas, I'm from Germany. Um, we have a 17 year old Fox P1 guy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You've been looking forward to this for two years, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are the people that you're most looking forward to meeting here? CM and who else? Daryl. Yeah, these are your friends, huh? The, the reason why we are here is um, my wife. Amanda McQuinton found, founded Facebook group. Um, and she get many informations from other parents in France, in Spain, in USA, everywhere on the world. And this, the whole time I think we are alone. And she knows many parents. This evening I come here and feel oh always good wipes. Every, every person knew what it means to have a child with Fox P1. And it's so cool, so easy. You don't have to um, we müssen explain, explain for the, the, the situation with our son. Every know knows the, 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 the problems with Fox P1 child and it make it so yeah, good, good, easy to be here. One of the good things about the uh, these foundation meetings is that not only parents can make friends, but the kids can make friends as well. And it's really 
a beautiful community thing too, isn't it, Jonah? Yeah. You raised the question, what is so adorable about our kid? And uh, Fen, who's uh, 30 years old now for two days, he's adorable. He wants to hug everyone, but also hug us all the day. And um, that makes him a very adorable, lovely character. And uh, that you forgive him all the things that he cannot do or when he uh, shows his aggression, um, it, it doesn't matter because in the end uh, he's able to say, I love you, Daddy, I love you, Mom. And um, what happened two days ago at the dinner table was amazing. Uh, he was angry and at a certain stage he stopped and then he started to say to his mother, Esther, uh, Mama, yes, Fan, I just want to say that I'm very grateful for the fact that you helped me out today. Uh, and we were amazed. It, it, it left us speechless for a couple of minutes and then we thought, okay, well, thank you very much, Fen. We do it with love. Yeah? So, yeah. <laughs>
I love organizing, so that's part of who I am. Um, but the feeling that I have with uh, giving parents a beautiful few days, uh, giving their kids a day to remember, and uh, well, sort of taking care of the community and uh, sort of bringing everyone together, that fills me up with so much joy. So I'm really gonna miss, uh, well, talking to my co-organizers and uh, I don't know what to do with my time. So I think it's time for a new conference uh, really, really soon. <laughs> so thanks. So my daughter's name is Ayla and she's 19 and a half years old. She's my Fox P1 child. And I also have a 15 and a half year old son as well. Um, but we got her diagnosis back in 2016 and uh, obviously everything was very new for us just like it was was and is for so many Fox P1 parents and we had the opportunity living in the US to attend the conference at the Seaver Center in New York City and I think it was 2019 and we met a number of other families and it was after that that uh, Carl Whitney and myself and several other parents started to think about what could an organization look like that would uh, help us and, and would help others who are going down this Fox P1 journey. And that was really the, the birth or the start of the idea for the International Fox P1 Foundation. And we, we knew right away that we wanted it to be by name and by operation international, uh, even though many of us were in the United States and uh, another board member in, in Canada. Uh, and uh, it's, it's just amazing to see now, about five years later, what the foundation has evolved to be and the presence it has, the connection it has with other uh, regional foundations like the one here in the Netherlands uh, that allowed us to have both the first parent conference uh, back in 2023 and now this second one in Amsterdam with I think over 300 people. Uh, we're now in finishing the second day uh, and it's just been nothing short of incredible seeing the steps forward in the research, the, the fact that there are so many researchers who know about Fox P1 who are thinking about it uh, and are actively working on how to improve the lives of people who have Fox P1 and then all of us from the foundation standpoint the connections with families. This is all about creating a community and sustaining it for people who are at all the different stages of Fox P1, from my child just received the diagnosis to some of us who have older children, and learning from each other on every step of the way. What, what can you expect? What will be something you never expected? And what are the things that are, you know, anger, the sadness, but also the frustration and then, the, and then the joy and the surprises of things that happen that you never thought would happen. So I think we all kind of feed off of each other and live off of each other with those, uh, with those steps and, uh, and it kind of really becomes a big family.